congratulations to the UFL Birmingham Stallions. I guess they're a dynasty now as spring football goes. They won both USFL championships. Then the USFL merges with the XFL and the Stallions win that 25 nothing over the San Antonio Brahmas. The Brahmas, the only team that beat Birmingham in the regular season. They had like a 15 game winning streak, something ridiculous like that before the Brahmas beat them a few weeks ago. So the Stallions get revenge. The Stallions get the trophy and the UFL will return next year. And they're not sure when it's going to start next year. Maybe it starts closer in time to the Super Bowl. There's going to be Fox games on Friday nights because they've got an IndyCar contract. They need the windows on the weekend. So that's kind of a little bit of a slap in the face at the UFL. But they've got some things to do to improve the not the product, but the presentation and the strategy. I've said before they should have kept the XFL kickoff this year. It would have gotten some interest from NFL fans who want to see what this thing's all about. This kickoff that the NFL has adopted. It really is weird to think the NFL has adopted a kickoff that the XFL abandoned when it merged with the USFL to make the UFL, and they used the USFL kickoff instead. It's just weird to think that's what the NFL took. So they could have done that, missed opportunity. They need to be in markets that operate more like St. Louis. They said they had 27,000 people in St. Louis yesterday for a game between Birmingham and San Antonio. Are you kidding me? That's more than any of the other cities drew all year long. Birmingham had a playoff game last week, and they they – take half the stadium and wall it off. The other half of the stadium, it was still spotty. I think it was like 12,000. So they need to think about, and, and I think the most obvious destinations are cities the NFL has left. San Diego, Oakland, um, and, and then just like rabid football cities that have a big population base. You know, the more people you have, the more people are going to show up. New York, Chicago, L.A., just kind of surprising that there, there hasn't been as much focus on good business strategy for these spring leagues. And that's one of the reasons why they failed. You need to be making good decisions. You need to be thinking about how your league fits into the broader sports ecosystem. You need to schedule games accordingly. And, uh, and the potential there for one of these to make it, to make enough money and to keep going. And I think the UFL maybe learning from the failures of the AAF and then the XFL when it returned. Of course, it got screwed by the pandemic. It was doing pretty well in 2020. The USFL did okay. You bring them together, and I think they're doing well enough that it could survive. And I know from the games I watched this year, I, I thought it was enjoyable. I thought there was potential there. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.